This is Matt Jaffe, and I'm the Director of Engineering at Molecula. Today, I'm going to share our incredible real-time query performance that enterprises are taking advantage of to break through latency barriers and enable new use cases. For this demonstration, I'll be focusing on basic connectivity and data exploration. We have our Molecula environment here, and I'm going to be interfacing with the Virtual Data Source Manager, or VDSM, which is effectively the API layer to Molecula. We use it to query the underlying VDSs. Our VDSM speaks the Postgres Wire Protocol, which allows anything with Postgres connectivity to interact with Molecula. For this demo, I'll be using PSQL, which is just the standard Postgres command line client tool that you get when you install Postgres SQL. We're using this not to connect to Postgres, but connect to Molecula's VDSM. The first thing I'm going to do is use a PSQL command that turns on timing for all queries. Let's take a look at the data that we have in this instance of Molecula. The show tables command will list out all the VDSs, and this shows some synthetic data that we've generated that mimics many of our customer environments. We have data about customers, items they may have purchased, warranties that they may have bought on those items, and claims they may have made on those warranties, as well as marketing data. Let's first take a look at the customer's VDS. We can select star from customers just to get an idea of what's, what fields are there and what values they might have. We can see a region, a sales channel, and a size field on the customer's VDS. How many customers are there? Basic SQL query will tell us that there are 100 million customers in this synthetic data set. If we wanted to do something a little bit more complex to get a feel for how the data is laid out uh, and, and what it looks like, we could maybe dig into the region field and do a top end query. Top end is just a shortcut for uh, doing a group by ordered by count. And you can see that returns instantly and gives us a breakdown of the region field, which we could use to build a histogram. The equivalent SQL is here. Um, also returns instantly. Uh, and we can do other types of things, like maybe getting the maximum size, which you know, the maximum size from the customer's index. So selecting a maximum across uh, 100 million customers. Uh, moving on to the items VDS, we can check out its schema. Each item has a cost, a customer ID, a product line, a product type, and a ship date. Uh, so actually more fields than items, and let's see how many records there are. So there are actually 1.5 billion uh, records in the items VDS, so about 15 times more. Let's do a top end query on items and see how that performs. Okay, so the top end query on items, or on uh, the product line field of items, shows that there are 51 different product lines, and that took 53 milliseconds. So you can start to see where you can do um, some nice data exploration in really in real time. Let's do one more query that's a little more complicated. We'll select uh, region and sales channel um, and get the count of each combination of region and sales channel and also sum the size field on the customer's VDS. But we'll do it only for customers that have size less than a thousand. And we'll just get the first hundred results. Again, you can see uh, those calculations happen incredibly fast. You may at this point be questioning whether things have been pre-computed, and I can assure you that they have not. Uh, this is all running on a single VM in Google Cloud with 32 cores and about 200 gigs of RAM. I think um, it looks like about 66 gigabytes are in use right now uh, by the molecular infrastructure. 
That's all for today. Thank you.